As you can see from the post-it note, this video isn't about fancy editing. Just me walking and talking about crypto. Sorry, me and little Teddy walking and talking all about crypto. Now the information I'm gonna share with you today is going to massively improve your chances of success in crypto over the next 12 months. I believe this with everything I've got, but why? And it's because I'm gonna be talking about the four year crypto cycle. So with the crypto cycle, you've got the accumulation phase, the markup phase, the distribution and the downtrend. But really it's all about the Bitcoin halving, which happens approximately every four years. Now, the, just to give you a brief overview of the Bitcoin halving, it's where the amount of Bitcoin mined per day is reduced, as the name suggests, by half. So the last Bitcoin halving happened towards the end of April 2024, and we went from 950, sorry, we went from, we went from 900 Bitcoin tokens mined a day to 450 Bitcoin tokens a day. Basic economics tells you that if the demand stays the same for Bitcoin or increases and the supply is reduced, then the price in theory should increase. And this, what, and this is what happens every four years. Teddy, go on son. Now with this video, I'm not gonna get too technical. I'm gonna be telling you all about my experience, my, ex my seven years of, my seven years of crypto experience, and that includes three crypto cycles. I'll kick things off with why I'm so bullish on Bitcoin and crypto. I'll tell you all about the three cycles I've been involved with, and I'll tell you what you should do now if you wanna win in crypto. So if I was starting in crypto now with the knowledge I've got, I'm gonna tell you what I would do. Bullish about Bitcoin and crypto. There are loads of positives in my mind about Bitcoin and crypto. Just look at all the companies getting involved with various cryptos like Ethereum and Solana. But what I'm gonna cover, I'm gonna give you a brief summary of what's been going on with Bitcoin so far in 2024. Now, what got me to the point where I fully understood, I fully understand Bitcoin is when I, become fan, when I became financially literate, and I fully understood that the current financial system with things like inflation is broken. Now, Bitcoin doesn't fix everything in my mind, but it is part of the solution. I'm bullish on Bitcoin because of that broken financial system. So this year you've had the ETF, the 11 ETFs that were approved back in January, and BlackRock's ETF was the most successful ETF launch in history. This is huge. This is like traditional finance, TradFi, acknowledging that Bitcoin is here to stay. Then we have the Bitcoin halving that happened in April of this year. Then we had a bit of sideways action, sideways summer as it's known. Fast forward to October and the Fed start to cut rates. This is good for assets. This is good for Bitcoin. The cut rates again in November and what also happened in November, which was huge, Donald Trump was elected president. Now, at the start of November, Bitcoin was trading at around $68,000, $69,000. After a week of Trump getting elected, Bitcoin went up to $90,000. And then it went up again to $99,000. This is huge. And as expected, there was a lot of selling pressure at around $100,000. So it went back down to $90,000, and then I think it's back up to about $95,000, dollars this is huge for Bitcoin. It's been a hugely positive year for Bitcoin. And you've also got the adoption, the adoption of Bitcoin and crypto. Now, at a recent presentation, BlackRock, which is the, the largest wealth manager in the world, stated that crypto is the fastest adopted technology ever. It's faster than most, it's faster than other technologies, including the internet and even mobile phones. So the adoption is a reason for, my, for me being bullish. Before I move on to my experience of crypto cycles, I just wanna to touch on when I think the market top is going to be in 2025. If you look at previous cycles, I think cycle one, after the Bitcoin halving, I think the market top was at around 350 days, for example. 
Then cycle two, you're looking at over 500 days. Cycle three, again, over 500 days. Now, if you look at the chart, what this means is that the market top for us is likely to be between April 2025 and November 2025. So it's my intention to dollar cost average out of the market, out of the crypto market before the end of April. I've found it. The post-it note that I prepped for this video, all about the Bitcoin halving and when the market top's gonna be. So I'm just gonna read it. Cycle one, the market top after the Bitcoin halving was 367 days. In cycle two, after the Bitcoin halving, it was 526 days. And cycle three, after the Bitcoin halving, the market top was 547 days. Cycle one, my first cycle, 2017 going into 2018. Let me take you back to 2017. No, sorry, we'll start 2015 when I first heard about Bitcoin. Now, my cousin who'd been in, involved with crypto since 2011 told me all about Bitcoin in on Christmas Day 2015. And unfortunately, I ignored him. Big mistake. He finally got me into crypto in mid-2017. He told me about free altcoins. He told me, whatever profit you make, make sure you reinvest them back into Bitcoin. Unfortunately, I completely ignored him because I wasn't financially literate. I didn't understand Bitcoin. So what I'm going to tell you with my experience of free cycles, I'm going to tell you ups and downs. And what I want you to pay close attention to is my downs, is the downs, the mistakes I've made, because that's where you're going to get most of the value from this video. So I invested £6,000 into three altcoins, 2000 into each. And by the start of 2018, my portfolio was up to around £30,000. Now, what I would remember most about this period is I was working in, I was working at Gatwick at the time. I live in Middlesbrough and every Sunday I drive down to Gatwick, long drive. And what I can remember is having my Starbucks, my Americano and dreaming about £100,000, £150,000, £200,000. I was dreaming about what rentals I was going to buy. But I was clueless. I didn't understand Bitcoin. I didn't understand altcoins. I didn't have a cash out, an exit strategy. So as you can imagine, it didn't go very well. My £30,000 went down, back down to £6,000 and eventually I lost it all. Please, please learn from this mistake. Before you get into crypto, you need to be you need, you need to have some financial education. You need to fully understand each crypto you invest into and you need a cash out strategy, which we're gonna cover at the end of this video. Cycle two, 2020 going into 2021. <clears throat> so my experience of crypto in my first cycle, as you know, didn't go well. And this affected me psychologically. I buried my head in the sand. I put crypto to the back of my mind and lost out on some huge opportunities. But I would say 2018 going into 2019, I got into personal development, much needed personal development. I started to set goals, started reading about mindset, psychology, investing, money, and I got to a point where I became financially literate and I started getting back into crypto. And this was 2020. And at this time I had a weekly blog and I started writing about crypto. So I was writing about crypto, I was reading articles, reading books. By the end of 2020, I had a good understanding of Bitcoin and altcoins. And then going into 2021, January 2021, I purchased 10 well-researched altcoins and they included Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, Polkadot. So that was me, the start of 2021. Now, 2021, I had some good, 2021 was good and bad for me with crypto. I'll start with the bad. So March 2021, me and 10 other colleagues got into a meme coin. I put £2,000 in. Six weeks later, mid-April 2021, that meme coin went up to £68,000. Now, instead of cashing out, I got greedy. We all got greedy. We thought we were going to be retired by the end of the week. It didn't happen. And that 68000 
is now at 500, 500 pounds, I think it is. So this is a big, big mistake. And this really affected me badly for a good, a good few months. It wasn't good. Now, the other big mistake I made in 2021, I tried to time the market top. Now, by November, my well-researched portfolio was up to about £110,000. And I, from everything I was reading, articles, I was watching YouTube videos, etc. And I thought the market top was going to be, at some point, mid to late December 2021. So I was going to sell most of my portfolio at the start of December. This didn't happen, and I eventually, over the months, watched my portfolio go from £110,000 down to £10,000. Now, please learn from this mistake. A lot of crypto investors, they get too attached to the cryptos, like I did, and they watch the cryptos drop by 80% and 90% in bear markets. Howie Ted. So another mistake for you to learn from. Now, let's go to the good part of 2021 for me personally as a crypto investor. I've done what you should do with Solana. Now, Solana went from $3 when I purchased it all the way up to $260, there or thereabouts. And I cashed out ten, tens of thousands of pounds on the way up. This is what you should do. You need to dollar cost average out during the bull market. Which I'm, and I'm going to get to how you should approach a bull market at the end of this video. So that, in a nutshell, is my experience of my second crypto cycle. Like I said, some good, some bad. Please learn from the mistakes, though. Cycle 3, 2022, all the way to 2025. As I said, my portfolio went down from £110,000 to £10,000. At the start of 2022, this affected me badly. I would say I was even mildly depressed because of the mistake, the big mistake I made at the end of 2021. But this time was different. I didn't bury my head in the sand. Instead, I hit the books. I continued watching YouTube videos, learning all about crypto every day, every week. <clears throat> And I, I wanted to continue to invest, but unfortunately I didn't have the money. So I started working six to seven days and all of my overtime money was spent on building a cash buffer. And by June, 2022, come on, Ted, come on, son. By June, 2022, I started dollar cost averaging back into crypto with Bitcoin, Ethereum. Come on, son, come on, come on. Good boy. Yeah, dollar cost averaging with Bitcoin, Ethereum and Matic. I'd done this up until 2023. In 2023, I'd say from about April, I was dollar cost averaging with Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana. I'd done this all the way through 2023. Back end of 2023, I wanted more exposure to Bitcoin. So I used my SIP, my self-invested personal pension, and I bought quite a bit of micro strategy stock. I use quite a bit of my pension and micro strategy this year has done really, really well for a stock. I'm not gonna go, go into that too much, into too much detail. Look up Michael Saylor, micro strategy and see how that stock has performed this year. Let's just say my pension looks a lot better than it did last November. So this year I've been dollar cost averaging, I would say right up until September. And the main crypto I've been investing in this year has been SUI. And now, from this point onwards, it's all about my cash out strategy. <clears throat> and on this channel, my focus over the last few months has been cashing out. I've got loads, I've got about six or seven videos all about your exit strategy. So have a look on the channel, look at the cash out videos to get an idea of what, how you should approach this bull market. So really, the way I've approached cycle three so far, I've got it right. You don't bury your head in the sand because the previous cycle didn't go to plan. You hit the books, your dollar cost average from the bear market all the way to the bull market. Then it's about your cash out strategy. So I haven't started cashing out yet. That's what we're gonna move on to now. 
how you win in crypto now. So, I'm just going to imagine you know the basics. You understand Bitcoin, you understand altcoins. What I would do if you're looking to get into crypto now, I would look at 10 cryptos, 10 altcoins that you, you fancy, you like the look of. Come on, Ted. And then I'd watch three YouTube videos on each. I'd make notes on each. I'd get to a point where you fully understand each crypto. You understand the team behind it, the technology. Have they got a big community, etc., etc. Then I'd whittle it down to five of these cryptos. Invest with money. You're happy to invest. You're comfortable with the volatility. You know that crypto is volatile. So let's say you invest a thousand pounds. You're going to put 200 pounds into each crypto. Then it's all about your, your cash out strategy, your exit strategy. Now, personally, I'm going to be dollar cost averaging or pound cost averaging, should I say, out of the market from the end of December 2024 to the end of April 2025. I'm going to be learning every day, listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos, looking at market indicators like moving average, simple moving average, exponential moving average, RSI, relative strength index, volume, anything I can to help me with my cash out strategy. Now, if you want to know exactly how I'm using market indicators to help me with my cash out strategy, see below for a video that's got you covered in the description below. So this for me is how you approach crypto going forward. Now, if you want to win in crypto, you've got to look at it long term. That's the way you should. You zoom out, you think long term and think in terms of cycles. If you do this, if you can think, right, we're just heading into the bull market. 2026 is going to be a bear market. I'm going to try and make a bit of money for the rest of this cycle. And then with the profits, I'm going to reinvest at some point in the bear market. Then the next cycle, I'm going to dollar cost average in the cryptos that I believe in. You might pick five cryptos. You might pick 10 cryptos. And by the end, if you do this, by the end of that particular cycle, so the next cycle, you're very likely to make serious money in crypto. It's not guaranteed. Nothing in investing is guaranteed. But for me, if you can think in crypto cycles, if you can think a bit longer term, you've got a much better chance of winning in crypto. Most retail investors, unfortunately, are going to FOMO in at some point in 2025. Based and they're going, to, they're going to try and make serious money in weeks or a few short months. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. You've got to put the work in. You've got to have at least some financial education. And then when you do invest into a crypto, you've got to fully understand it. You've got, to under, you've got to be happy with volatility. You've got to be happy with risk. You've got to understand yourself as an investor. What is your risk tolerance? Me personally, I'm medium to high risk. And then you've got to consider your investment goals. So, and that will help you with your cash out strategy. What is your goal? Do you want to pay some debt off? Do you want to, if you do really well, do you want to pay your mortgage off? Do you want that car you've always wanted? Do you want to take your family on a few holidays? Whatever it is. So think in terms of risk tolerance and investment goals with any investing. So that's just about it for today's video. Hopefully, you've got a good idea of the crypto cycle, the four-year cycle, from my experience of it so far. Hopefully, you've taken loads of value from today's video. If you've liked it, hit the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. And if you know anyone who's thinking about getting into crypto, send them this, send them this video. And then, hopefully, it's going to help them with their investment. It's going to help them over the next 12 months and if they've got the discipline, it's going to help them over the next few years as a crypto investor.